everyone, I'm Miss Milena from the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. If you're joining me today, you're tuning in to see our Halloween grab and go how to video. So in your bag, you will have received some items. You'll have received some different colored paper and you'll have received a cool little votive candle, which is battery operated and completely safe. Um, but what you'll need from your house to find in order to complete this craft is a ruler, scissors, um, tape or a glue stick would also work, and some writing utensils. I have a light colored one so that I'll be able to see the lines I draw on my black sheet of paper and a darker colored uh, pencil to be able to draw on the lighter sheets that I have. So um, as you can see, you might get any number of these different Halloween lanterns. So we have a Frankenstein, a um, pumpkin, and a ghost. But today I am going to be making the bat lantern. So bats are black. So the first thing we're going to do is take our sheet of paper and fold it in half lengthwise. So the long way. And crease it down the middle. So. After you've done this, um, you're gonna use your ruler and measure about half inch down, make a little mark. And I am actually not gonna draw a line all the way across, but I'm gonna make a couple little marks at the half inch mark so I know where to cut to. And then you're going to cut from the creased part up. So you're gonna to wanna to cut that crease. Do not cut from the open part. You're gonna cut up to that mark you made and you can, if you want, measure about an inch all the way across and make little marks, but you can also eyeball it, which is what I'm gonna to do today. So you're gonna cut all the way up to that little mark you made, but not all the way. You don't wanna cut it all the way. And you're just gonna do this all the way across your lantern. And again, if you want to be really precise, you can measure or you can just, you know, eyeball it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So after you're done cutting all of your lines, which I'm almost done doing, I'll show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see, finish cutting. The next thing you're gonna do is unfold the lantern. And as you can see, you have these openings, but it doesn't go all the way. So you're going to take your two ends and fold them until they meet. And I'm gonna use, be using tape, but again, you can use a glue stick. If you choose to use a glue stick, you're just gonna put a little dollop of glue there and then secure it. Um, but if you decide to use tape, you're gonna put it together and hold it and then take your piece of tape and tape the end together. Try and get that as even as possible. So I'm gonna put the tape on one side and then just fold it over. And then you're gonna repeat that on the other end. So once you do it once on the top or the bottom, it'll be easier to do the other side because it'll already be secured in one spot. So I'm gonna tape my other side now I have my basic lantern structure, but I need to decorate it. So this is where you can get really creative about what you wanna do. Like for example, on my pumpkin, I did little star eyes, which are not perfect, um, and a little triangle nose, and then little like toothy grin. But be creative, you can do anything. You can do half moons, you can do circles, you know, whatever you wanna do. So for my bat eyes, I think I would like to do little half moon eyes. So I'm going to draw a couple half moons like that. And I'm gonna cut those out now. So this is gonna be my bat eye. And the other thing I'd like to do just to give it a little bit more dimension and you could do this by cutting a section out or using your darker pencil that contrasts. I am going to just color in a little bit, Let's see if I can get that up to show you, um, on my eye. 
um, so that it gives it a little eyeball. But again, that's where, that's where you can be creative and you know whatever you decide to do and however you would like to decorate, you can do. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna cut out the next one and then again, make a little eyeball. And I think now, here we go, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm gonna tape these on right now, but you can certainly wait till you do all your shapes and tape everything out at the end, but I don't wanna lose track of these. Um, I have cats and one of them might jump up here at any minute, and then you never know what's gonna happen. So let's see, I'm gonna put on my little eyes. You do not have to put it directly on the strip. You can, or you can put it in between, such as what I did. Um, so again, the decorating portion is up to you, however you would like to do it. So I'm gonna take my tape, and um, how I'm doing this is I'm folding my tape in half, so, um, and sticking it to itself, so it becomes sticky on both sides. Um, I'm gonna stick that. So now my bat has eyes, but I think it needs more. Um, I actually would like to give my bat fangs as well. So on this sheet of paper, I'm going to draw some big fangs. So as you can see, I drew my fangs. I'll cut those out so you can see that. And tape those on. So the bat is actually, and the Frankenstein, um, you might have the most little accoutrements that you want to put on there, but let's get these fangs on my bat. Maybe it's a vampire bat. So again, I'm rolling my tape. And Put one fang, I'll show you in a second, as soon as I get it ready. See if my bat is starting to come together a little bit. Let's see. Put my other fang on. Okay, so now my bat has some fangs. But I also think I would like my bat to have wings and little pointy ears. So I'm gonna take another sheet of black paper that I have, and I'm gonna draw those with my light colored pencil so we can see it with contrast. Certainly a crayon would work for this as well. Um, I'm gonna draw some triangles for ears, which when I put it on, will go on that way. And I'm going to draw some wings. And again, this is, just first let me cut out this because I have a, a tip for you. So if you want your um, bat wings, if you happen to get the bat kit, to be symmetrical um, and you're afraid you won't be able to draw two that are exactly alike, um, my tip to you on that is to take your paper, fold it in half, draw one wing, so let me draw some bat wings here. And I'm not actually 100% certain what that would look like, but this is what I've chosen to draw. Um, and now because your paper's folded, if you cut both sheets, you'll get two and they'll be identical. So that is my tip. If you would like to be perfectly symmetrical with some of your shapes, is to fold your paper and then cut both sheets simultaneously so that you have the exact same shape. So, I'm going to cut that now. Okay, so now I have my ears and two wings. So for these wings, put those on first. I'm gonna tape that and I'm thinking, that looks pretty good, so let's see. I'm gonna get my tape on there, and I'm gonna tape on one wing. Let's see how that's gonna work best. 
You might have to play with this a little bit to figure out what the best position is for your wing. Um, and I'm giving it a little fold so it kind of stays forward, but I'll turn it around in a minute to reveal what it's gonna look like from the front. And then I'm gonna tape my other wing. And I wanna make sure that it's going in the same direction. Gonna take that on, give that a little fold as well. And now I'm gonna put on my little bat ears. So I'm gonna take those on as well. So this is just kind of fun. This is the fun part, the decorating. That's where your creativity gets to come into play. Um, and you can just do whatever you would like. So I am including directions in the grab and go kit. So you will have paper directions that you can follow should you, you know, want to do that as well. Okay, so now my bat has wings and ears and eyes and fangs because he's a vampire bat. So he's all set to go. So the last thing is your candle. So obviously, a real candle would burn this because it's paper, so that would not be good. So we have included these cool flickering votive candles that you can put under your lantern. And there you have it, an awesome Halloween paper lantern that you can easily make at home. So thank you for joining me, and I hope that if you make some awesome cool lanterns, you can tag us online and maybe look for it on our social media. And if you'd like to also check out some of our other amazing programs, please visit us at hplibrary.org.